Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Nikkei Renee. Those that are new, welcome. Those that are returning, welcome back. And on today's video, I am going to be reading um, a prayer for protection. It's a lot of stuff that's been actually happening around the world that have people scared, have people doubting, have people having anxiety, have people starting to get depression and suicidal ideation. For those that don't know what that means, suicidal thoughts. And just not knowing where they are, not knowing who they are, and not being focused on what their position is in a season. And us as believers, for those that believe, it's very important to know that you are protected by the Most High. It's very important to strengthen your prayer life. Like prayer life in this season is very necessary for everyone right now. Because the Lord says, when two or more come together, it shall be done. So it's very important that we pray. Pray against the things that are happening in this world. There's so much stuff happening. So I'm going to go into this book with y'all. And it'll help you with your spiritual life. It'll help you grow your prayer. It'll help you have more powerful prayers, you know, and know how to warfare. So, okay. Yeah. Hey, guys. So, this is the book um, that I told y'all about. It's called Prayers That Route Demons. And it's by John Eckhart. It's for prayers for defeating demons and overthrowing the power of darkness. This is the book. This is what it looks like. You can get it on Amazon for $9.99. $9.99. But yeah, I had actually bought this. My second time buying this. Um, John Eckhart wrote so many um, prayer books. He have um, prayers that activate blessings. He have prayers that bring healing. Um he have a prophetic book it's it's a few books that he has written and one thing that i do like about the books that he's released is they are scripture based the prayers um most of them are scripture based so these are things that's not from his word but it's from the lord himself so that's what i like about that so i'm going to be reading today to y'all the prayer for protection and one thing i do like about this book is that it um have everything you need to know before you go into the prayer area but today i'll just read the prayer to you maybe on another video i'll go into that part and where the breakdown is i thought it was page 26 but it's actually page 29 it's right here and this is what it looks like And the best thing for this is um, some people like to read in, you know, just quietly. But with this, I love to say it out loud because you know that you know that you know that it's getting into your spirit, it's getting to your soul. And when you're, you know, I don't always use this um, for prayer, but this actually helps strengthen your prayer life. This actually helps you when you go through warfare. When we go through warfare... A lot of people don't know how to warfare. And that's one thing I have learned um, while growing my faith in the Lord. That you have to know these scriptures to be able to conquer that warfare. You got to know who to have around you when you warfare. You don't want anybody just, you know, speaking things over you. Over your life, over your situation. You don't want that. You don't want people just doing that. Like, ew. You know, so you got to know who to have spiritually grounded to pour into you to help you grow. We all need someone to help us grow, especially spiritually. A lot of things I've learned from um, older women that are seasoned. Um, they have taught me so many things and the Bible. I went on my own and learned. And I'm still learning um, different things and a lot of things that 
have came to light for me, things that I've seen in the church that didn't align with the will of God, that didn't align with the Lord want for his people to do. And it's not monetized. The Lord is, that's not who, what he is about. Um, he does give us blessings. He does, but I will go into that deeper on future videos. I don't want to just have y'all over the place. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to um, pray this on page 29. Um, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for every man, every woman that is looking at this video today. Lord, I ask you to keep him and her, Lord God, grounded into you, Lord. I ask that they know who they are. I ask that they find their purpose on what you want them to do in this season, Father. Your word says, Lord God, if two or more come together, it shall be done, Lord God. Lord God, I ask you to help them, Lord God, to learn how to warfare, Lord, when they're feeling down, Lord God, when they're feeling stressed, Lord God, when their anxiety, Lord God, is hitting them up the roof, Lord God. I ask that they learn how to warfare like no other, that they'll use the authority and power that you gave them, Lord God. You gave us all the power and the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions, Father, Lord God. I just ask you, Father, to help us to remain the way you want us to be, Lord, and not of the world. And I ask you that in Jesus' name. Amen. I just wanted to say a quick prayer over myself um, before I go into this. Because those that have never um, had this book, this book is very, very powerful. When I say powerful... I mean that the Lord is in this book. This book will help you get more clarity. It'll help you get more understanding on prayer and how to warfare. Prayers for divine safety and protection. I cover myself, my family, and my possessions with the blood of Jesus. Let the fire of God surround and protect my life from all destruction. Let the angel of the Lord encamp ground me and protect me. Let your glory be my covering and protect my back. Hold me up and I will be safe. The name of Jesus is strong tower. I run into you and I am safe. Lord, you make me to dwell in safety. Set me in safety from them who puff at me. Let me dwell in my land safely. Lead me safely and I will not fear. Let the sea overwhelm my enemies. Let me lie down and rest in safety. I will dwell in safety. Nothing shall make me afraid. Keep me as an apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. I will trust in the covert of your wings. In shadow of your wings will I trust. Be my covert from the storm and the rain. Be my cover from the wind and the tempest. Cover my head in the day of battle. Cover me with the shadow of your hand. Cover me with your feathers. Be my defense and refuge. Defend and deliver me. Let your glory be my defense. Defend me from those who rise up against me. Lord, you are my shield and my hiding place. Lord, surround me with your shield of protection. Bring them down, O Lord, my shield. Let your truth be my shield. Lord, you are my sun and shield. Lord, you are my shield and exceeding great reward. I will not be afraid of 10,000 that have set themselves against me because you are a shield for me. You are a strong tower from the enemy. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I felt every bit of that. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. I don't know who need to hear this. I do not know, but I do know that you are protected. You can't overcome oppression. You can't overcome depression. You can't overcome fear. You can't overcome worry. You can't overcome overthinking. You can't overcome poverty. You know, the Lord have everything for us in the word of God. Read your Bible. If you don't understand it, you can get a easier Bible version that can actually simply break it down. Because I know a lot of people do not understand the King James Version. And I was one of those people one time in my life where I just was like, what does it say? And I had actually got me um, an NIV after that, which 
I do love the NIV. I like that a lot. Um, then my mother went and got me an easy Bible version, which actually break it down to me like as if I was probably four or five. Okay. And I love it because it helps me to get a better understanding. It helps me to get better clarity. It helps me to get better knowledge on what the Lord is calling us to do, what the Lord has said. Like, man, it's so much stuff in the word of God. If we just pick up our Bibles and read it, we will be delivered from so many things. And um, I know this is not a Bible, but this is scripture based scripture based so i asked you to go get this get this book and no this is not um a sponsorship or none of that this is just me being a child of god loving to grow learning loving to learn more and to get my prayer life strengthened so that's all i have for y'all now i ask that y'all um come back to another video i'm gonna have more for y'all more things um to come and i'll be reading more of this um different days i don't know when but i don't know I'm a, actually i think the next video i don't know what i'll do next but whatever i don't know but anyways hope to see y'all y'all have a great day and continue to be blessed continue to let the lord use you and stop overthinking stop letting others set you back on what you know the lord told you to do but you have someone in your ear gate telling you otherwise. Those are spirits from the enemy. It's not the person, it's the spirit. It's the spirit that's overtaking them to get you distracted on what the Lord is calling you to do. So I ask you to ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you and to direct you in everything that you do and don't be afraid. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>